Okay, now we're ready to start copying and pasting values, and that will make things go a lot faster. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is pelvis X. I'm going to work on um, pelvis and position X. So on frame 6, the value is 90. So I can go to frame 12, and I'm going to press M to make a keyframe here. And I'm going to use the trick from before, but I'm going to type times equals 2. And that will obviously times that value by 2. And so now you can see the distance along x is still equal, so that worked well. And then I'm going to use the copy and paste for z. Now it's important that the first contact pose and the last contact pose have the same value, which they do. So I'm going to hold control and press C, and these are the um, paste options that I'm using. It doesn't really matter if connect mode is on or off for this. This is because these are the same value. So I'm going to turn connect mode off and control V. Now you can see I'm going to undo that. Look at this um, green line up here and I'm going to hold control Z and now it's straight and then I'll paste it again. Sorry. I'll paste it and you can see it's got the curve back. I'm going to select all of these and set them to spline. So now you can see his pelvis is moving up and down. So that was just from copying and pasting. We've done a whole nother pelvis movement just with pasting that. We, we didn't put any value for the rotations just position X and Z, so that's pretty much done for now. Now I'm going to work on the feet. And so if you take a look at this right foot, what it does is it's the heel is contacting the ground, and then it's flat on the ground, and it stays there, but then it lifts up, and it's in the air. And it ends at the same position where this foot starts off. So with that in mind, what we need now is for this foot to be flat on the ground, and we can take the values from the right foot. So we'll select the right foot, select all of the controls, control C, then we'll select the left foot, and this is important, we need connect mode on here. This is what happens if I have connect mode off. I paste and it pastes it back to the same place as where the foot was that we copied from. So I'll undo that and then I'll turn connect mode on and now it connects it. It pastes the value from where, well basically it just connects it on to where the value already was. So now that's looking a bit better although it still doesn't look right. The reason is because of the toe. So I'm going to take the values of this toe, copy, the rotation here, the first and last value need to be the same. So I'm going to take this value from the first contact pose and paste that into the last one. And then when I paste with connect mode off, it's working a bit better. Well actually much better. Basically it's working. Um, the leg is hyperextended, and that's because of these hips. But I'll, I'll paste the hips in a bit later. So now we've already got that foot working. Now let's work on the other foot. So, this is the contact 
we're going to be working on this foot and what we need it to do is to swing down we basically need the motion that this foot has behind so we'll copy these actually one thing that we need to take note of is that when you use the connect method for a lot of these things the first and last value need to be the same otherwise it's going to offset so we'll just go through for the rotations and for the positions as well actually So I'm going to set all of the position Y to 5. For Z, I need the first and last one to be the same, so I'll just set these both to 30. Rotation X. Cool, so now I need, I can select all of these, all the all 12 frames, come along to here, and paste with connect mode on. Cool, and from here on, I can basically well, I need to make sure that these values, see, these values are changing. Sorry, not these ones. These just look like they are. A lot of the time the position will change because of the rotation that Source Filmmaker does. It's quite weird, and I'm pretty sure that it's a bug, but when you rotate things, it will translate them, which is not good. So once again, I'm going to double this, so frame 12, I'll just go to frame 24, actually I'll just times it by 4, so frame 12, 24, and then frame 48, I'll just go to the shot timeline, So where were we? Position X, frame 48. I'm going to press M to make a keyframe there. And remember, it was times 4. So I can select this value and then times equals 4. And you can see that that's a nice straight line, which is exactly what we want. We can check these green dots and see that they're all an equal distance apart, which is good. We can copy these values, <coughs> paste them along. So now we have the position moving up and down, which is good, excellent. Now we just need to paste the feet. So this foot ends up in the same position where it starts off at, which is cool. So what we can do here is I want to make sure if I was to use the paste connect method, then I would need to make sure that all of these values, the last value is the same as the start value. 
if I was to not use the connect method, then that wouldn't matter. However, I would not be able to select position X when I paste, for example. Let's see, okay. This is the first contact pose, and this foot is behind. When I go to frame 12, the foot is still behind, and it's the second, sorry, it's actually the third contact pose, but it's the second contact pose for this leg that is behind, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, for the rotation on frame 12, I'm going to drag that way up, so it's obviously not the same. Then I'm going to select all of these keys, control copy, connect mode is off, and then so when I paste on everything, you can see the foot has now returned to the correct rotation, however the position is all the way behind. So if I undo that, I'm going to select all of them except for position X, copy all of them, connect mode is still off, paste, now the foot, the rotation has been corrected, the position isn't moving. So that's why we need to make sure the first and last values are the same. We can come here and then select these individually, turn, con turn connect mode on and then paste, and that's fine. So that that's basically why we need to make sure that the first and last values are the same. I'll just set those to spline. So that one, good. Rotation Z, good. So now I can ha I can leave connect mode on, select all of these values and paste. You can see there's the majority of the curves are staying the same. That's because they're going up and down. That's because the first and last value are the same. So it's going to return to where it was. However, position X keeps on going up, which is good because it's traveling along. And so I'll paste it there. And you can see his legs are looking really weird here. And that's because of these pole vectors for the knees. So if that happens, then You just need to select the pole vectors and put them in front. Now we have the scout hopping along on one foot. So we'll work on this one here. First we just need to check. Now this is a little confusing here because the first and last value aren't, are not the same. But that's because his foot ends up in the in a different position to where it starts off at. So what we need to do is we need to make sure well for this we need to make sure that this value is the same as this value, which it's not. It's starting to repeat here on frame 12. But that value and this value are different. The reason is because we've pasted these values from the other foot. So it's not it's not a big problem. We can just select this, just copy these across to here. I hope you guys are understanding what's going on here. If if you don't understand, let me know and I will I can try and explain it in more detail or if you leave a comment then I can try and help you out.
I'm just going to drag all of these down to be about the same value as this one. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm going to delete the last five keys after frame twelve. So what I've done essentially is just got it so that it's the same as that. first contact is the same, because remember this pose should pretty much be the same as this contact pose. Just in a different place. So I'm going to select all of these, copy, con connect mode is on, paste, and I come across to here, paste, Come across to here, paste. So now we've pasted many steps across. His feet do look a little strange and that's because of one of the steps. He lifts his foot really high here and this isn't too much of a problem really because we can come into position X oh, sorry position Z on both of them so let's say for this foot Position Z. I want this pose. To be a bit lower. I'm just going to select all of these and set them to a spline. Even though it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> the reason it doesn't matter is because these are one frame increments. Also another thing that might be making it look strange is because of the snapping legs. You see his foot is completely straight here, and then it's bent. And I believe that is because of the hips. So I can check my reference here, and see that these hips are meant to be down. Since that, since this is essentially the same pose as the very start, I can just copy these values and paste them right there. Connect mode off. There we go. And I can come into the middle of these and delete all the frames before. Actually, not these values not these values because I edited those and then I can select all of these control copy paste 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 and he's off ok 
Okay, now for the arms. I'm sure by now you guys can figure out how to do the wrist, but I'll just do it. So frame six, I want them to be in front. Move it. Remember that I rotated the spine along Y at the start, so I'm just going to select all of those, and on frame 6, since I put them all to minus 2, I could, uh, since I put them all to 2, I could just type minus 2, or if they were different values, like some of them were 2 and some were like 1.63, I could go times equals minus 1, and that will invert those values and then I can delete all the ones before and then so now he turns it might be a bit subtle to see but his body is turning and I can copy those and paste those on frame 12 with connect mode off set these to spline this will matter because there's frames in between these keyframes and I can select these and paste copy paste. So now his body is turning. We'll put this hand behind. I'll do the same thing as before, delete the keys in between. Actually, I didn't do that. I'll do that now. Delete the keys in between, go to frame 3, because at the moment his hand is just moving straight through. But I'm just going to bring that down here. So he goes down and then up. I'll do the same on the other hand. Go to frame 3. Pull that down. We'll do it for the collarbones too. Delete these. So this is the hand that I'm working on now. I'll just copy all of these and paste them. Paste, paste. And I'll do the other hand. Basically what I'm doing is, because these are three frame distances between, I can go to frame six and I can go three in a head, so nine. I can get this value, paste that there, copy that one, go there. Set them to spline, copy and paste that value, paste, paste. So now his hand should be moving too. So there we go. Um, it obviously doesn't look that good, but this is, I did this very quickly, and there's still many more things that could be done. Um, I think one thing that could be easily changed is the up and down on his pelvis. So I think he falls too slowly. So I'm going to select
these keys and bring them down just a little bit. Maybe make them look a bit heavier by taking longer to come up. Could do other things like make his hands hmm Make his hands go a bit lower. So there's many things that you can change quite easily now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. I hope I explained things well enough. If I didn't, then you can feel free to comment, ask me a question. I do read all questions. I do read all comments. Um, please subscribe because I like making these videos and the more subscribers I get and the more the more comments you give me it motivates me and I need the motivation so um, keep commenting share the video that's the biggest help that you can do if you share actually yeah subscribing and sharing it's the most helpful um, if you wanted to keep working on this run cycle then look at a video of someone running and then really just analyze their movements think about how long their foot's in the air for before it hits the ground and look at the um, motion of their body things actually fall quite fast a lot of a lot of time in animation I see things moving really slowly like they fall slowly you can pretty much just pick up anything next to you and drop it and things well gravity pulls things down at the same speed so if you just drop like a ball, if you have a ball next to you and you drop that, that's going to be the speed that you will fall at. Unless it's uh, an extremely light ball. A, a massive light ball, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah. I, I see that these hips aren't that great, but I, I've already filmed this tutorial like five times now, and I'm really tired. So... I'm just going to leave it at this. Um, make sure to watch my walk cycle tutorial as well. My other tutorials, I've spent a lot of time and effort in uh, uh, making them. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.